Howdy everyone. I'm back out here on the river again today. It's the end of May. We've got bass on beds. You can see that one just chased a pike away from his nest over here. But we've got a smallie bed right over there. I went ahead and dropped my GoPro next to it before I dragged my kayak down into the water. We're going to see if we can catch that fish. I've got myself rigged up with one of the new jumbo Nico Helgramites. And I've got him Nico rigged. Got a little weight stuck in at his head end and then a one-aught mosquito hook up toward the tail end of that lure. The idea is to get him to sink down like that and just be able to work him like that on the bed to try to irritate this fish into biting. Looks like he's back over there on his nest. Let's toss that Helgramite over there. I don't know if I grab some grass with it there or not, but that fish is checking it out. He does not like that jumbo Helgramite on his nest. He's giving it the stare down all right. Oh, he looked at it. Backed off though, huh. Sometimes it takes a few casts or a few dozen You know, a lot of people think bed fishing is as easy as just throwing that lure onto their nest, but a lot of times I'll have to work those fish for about an hour. This one I don't think will make me work them too long though. Oh man, he definitely checked it out there. You could probably catch him a little bit off the bed, but I want to get him to hit that thing right in front of my GoPro over there, so. I'm going for the eat right on the nest. The fish is going back in for the Helger mite. He's looking at it. He's checking it out. He's staring at it. I'm just gonna let him sit there for a second. Oh, that fish is backing up. I'm just gonna twitch my rod tip basically just twitching the slack in my line. I'm just trying to give that Helger mite a little bit of movement without pulling them off the nest over there. There, I think he noticed it. Oh, I'm off the bed though. fish is getting irritated. I think we're going to get him to bite here real soon. Twitch, twitch. Twitch, twitch. looking at it. He's going to pick it up. I think he's going to... Oh, he swatted at it there, I think. I think that corner of the bed is where it agitates him the most. Oh, he just took another swipe at it there. Yeah, this fish is getting real irritated. We got him. We got him that time. Yeah, he is out in the current now. <laughs> I'm trying to get these fish in quick today so I can let them get back to their nests.
Well, it took a little while to get that one to bite, maybe about 10 casts or so. Sometimes you just gotta be a little bit patient with them. I mean, sometimes those fish will grab your lure out their nest the very first cast. Sometimes you gotta sit there and work them for about an hour. This one wasn't too bad. It took maybe 10 minutes to get them to bite. Sit down so I can grab my net. Just had him there. <laughs> Got to reel my line up just a little bit more. All right, look at that. Nice smallie for the first one of the day. Take a quick look at him. I might give him a quick measure. He's about 18 and a half good way to start. All right, we'll get him back in the water. Let him get back to his nest over there. All right, I just released that fish about a minute ago. I had to re-rig my Helgramite. I'm gonna go back and retrieve my camera, but I'm just gonna show you guys he is already back on his bed there. You see him? So as long as you release those fish quickly after pulling them off their bed, they'll go right back to it. I know bed fishing isn't for everybody, but if you release those fish quick and you're not fishing an area that is just full of little perch and bluegill, the type of fish that are gonna jump on that nest and start eating all the eggs, as long as you release those fish quickly, there's really no harm done. All right, my GoPro's still running. Hopefully we got that eat on camera. All right, you guys, there's a really nice smallie down here on a bed. I'm kind of hiding behind the bush here. I hopped out of my kayak because I couldn't get in a good position where I could see this fish. We'll try to catch him from right here. I just spooked him with my lure there, I think. But I'm gonna get it on his nest, let it sit there. We'll wait for that fish to come back and see if we can catch him. He looked like a real nice one. Oh, here he comes. I don't know if he saw me there or what. I just gotta stay real still here. right up to the side there. He's looking at my Helgramite. He's not quite sure what to do about it yet. Oh, here he comes. Got him. Oh, that was cool. Oh! He shook it right next to shore here. Well, I think we got the eat on camera at least. I'll sit here a couple minutes, see if that fish comes back. We'll see if we can actually get my hands on him here. didn't pull him out of the water he should come back in a minute or two I think got another one right down here I was planning on dropping my camera on this guy too but we'll see if we can just catch him real quick while we're waiting for that other one to come back This 
That's pretty aggressive. I kind of want to drop my camera on that one, I think. I got him again. I don't know if I really got the bite on camera. He kind of chased my Helgramite back and hit it on the far end of the bed there. All right, we'll see if we can land this fish this time. Come on up here, you. Oh, I should have brought my net over here. Got him. Wow, look at that smallie. That's probably good. 19, 19 and a half inch fish. Hooked him once, he shook it. So I figured I better try to hook him again. It only took him a few casts to get him to come back and bite again that second time. Nice, there he goes, right back to the bed. He'll probably hang out about 10, 15 feet off to the side until I move away and give him a little bit of distance. is one more that's the first one I caught the second one I caught was right off this bed there's another one here right in the middle that guy right there so I'm gonna drop my camera next to his nest I think we'll see if we can get all three of them along this stretch of bank here here he comes He gave a little smooch there. Did you see that? Come on, Mr. Bass. You better pick that Helgramite up. Oh, he won't pick it up. He's just pecking at it. He's trying to crush it with his snout. <laughs> There we go, I got him that time. That time he picked it up. Come down here, get on this rock. Where I landed that last fish, there's just a lot of poison ivy growing along the bank. Gotcha. Look at that, that's not a bad fish right there. A little bit smaller than the other two. He's probably about a 17 inch fish. Decent little guy. Got him to come pick up that jumbo Nico Helgramite off of his nest. Just gotta retrieve my GoPro real quick. All right, we're still recording on that one. Well, we caught all three of the smallies that were bedded up along this bank. I think I'm gonna go paddle around a little bit. We'll see if we can find one or two more that we can catch. I'm not gonna sit out here and hammer them all day. I just, I just wanna catch a few. It's that one time of year where it's a little bit different fishing for them. It's kind of a cool time of year too, just because you know exactly where those fish are gonna bite. So you can drop the GoPro next to their nest and get that smally eaten action on camera. Get that guy all straightened out. We'll toss him up there and see if we can catch this fish. Oh yeah, he's sitting up there. All right, we've got another real nice fish on a bed here. Got my GoPro drop next to it. This one seems like he's aggressive. I don't think we'll have to wait 
for too long to get this one to bite. Got him. Oh, he shook it. Darn it. That was a real nice fish too. He's gonna go right back to the bed. We'll get this one to bite again, I think. Is he gonna go for it again? Very next cast. Oh, he grabbed it again. I just didn't get my hook in him that time. We're gonna catch this fish though. Oh, yeah, he's getting, he's getting angry. Here we go, we're about to catch this fish right here. Oh, I thought he was gonna grab it. Here he comes. Nope. There we go. Oh, yeah. I better sit down, get my net. Oh, yeah. That's a nice fish right there. Come here, bud. Look at that. Beauty of a smallmouth on the jumbo Nico Helgramite. We'll get a quick length measurement on this one. About 18 and just a bit over half. Beauty of a fish. All right, we'll send him back to his nest over there. All right, I found one more. Real nice molly sitting up on a bed here that we're gonna try to catch. I've already gone ahead and dropped my GoPro up there. Got my Helgramite sitting on the edge of the nest. Just waiting for that fish to come back. Here he comes. He's sitting right next to it over there. I'll try to get his attention. Give it some little twitches. There we go. That got his attention.
Twitch, 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 twitch. He's sitting there, he's thinking about it. Yeah, he's starting to get irritated over there. We're gonna catch this one pretty soon here, I think. Pick it up. I thought he was going to grab it there. Kind of squared up with it like he was going to... He's thinking about it over there. Any cast? No, we're gonna catch this fish.
Got him. Finally, we got him to pick it up. Gotta try to keep him out of those sticks over there. Come on up here now. They're just getting that current and they do not want to come back. get my net ready for this one. Oh yeah, this might be the big one of the day right here. Look at that beast of a smallie. Had him hooked right in the corner of the mouth there. We'll get a measure on that one. It's got to be close to 20, eh, about 19 and a half. Just a chunk of a smallmouth though. Beauty of a fish. All right, you guys, I've made it back up here to where I started from. I worked my way maybe a half mile downstream. This current's going pretty quick today, so that's about as far down as I wanted to go. But we found a few more nice smallies sitting on beds down that way. I was able to agitate into picking up that giant Nico Helgramite. So it's a fun day of fishing out here. I know bed fishing isn't for everyone, but to me, it's really an interesting time of year to come out here and catch a few. It's such a different bite than the rest of the year. For one, you know exactly where those fish are gonna bite. So you can drop a camera underwater next to their bed and get some pretty cool footage of how they react to your lure. And I gotta say, I can't wait to get home and stick that footage on my computer and check it out. That's always super interesting to me. I know a lot of people think bed fishing is super easy too but i'm here to tell you it's not i spent about half the day out here today we caught what five or six fish i could come out here midsummer when those fish are just hungry and aggressive spend the same amount of time on this same stretch of river and probably catch 10 to 20 smallmouth depending on how they're biting that day so it is a little bit tough to get them to bite this time of year sometimes. I mean, you will get lucky every now and then and find that fish that'll pick your jig up in the very first cast, but usually that is not the case. I had to spend a good 20, 30 minutes on each one of these fish to get them to bite today. But it's always a fun time of year to catch a few. I think I'll leave the rest of them alone for today though. Well, I've made it back here to where I dragged my kayak out, so that's gonna do it for today's trip. I hope you guys enjoyed the afternoon out here on the river with me. I had a lot of fun. Thanks for coming along with me again. I'll see you next time. <laughs>